Hey guys, today I'm gonna pretend that I'm in Vogue Beauty Secrets and do a little makeup routine with you. I'm not in my bathroom today because it's really not pretty. It's an accommodation bathroom, so it's very bland. So I'm just gonna do it in my room where there's more natural lighting. And so let's start. First, I'm going to start with the NYX Plump Right Back uh, Primer. And I just do two squirts and I'm just going to put it all over my face. It actually smells nice and I hope it doesn't have fragrance though because that's not great for your skin. Um, actually, I'm going to put my hair back with this. It's kind of crusty, but you know, that's okay. My fringe or bangs, whatever you want to call them, are a new addition to my hair. Um, but I'm liking them. Then I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, it's rubbed off. I think ugh, I forgot what it's called, but it's in Fair Pale. And I'm just going to apply this to my face all over. It's like a luminizer, I guess. I thought when I bought this that it would be a, a foundation, but it's not, it's very sheer. Oh, I think it's called the Flawless Filter. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, and then I'm just gonna go with a beauty blender and uh, rub it all in. So what I'm thinking of today is to do uh, like a soft girl look. I've done one of them in the past but I think I want to reintroduce myself to that because I've been doing lots of colorful looks. Um, so, yeah, let's do soft girl glam today. Then I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur Plus Smooth Tint Stick in shade 1. I love this stuff. Um, even though one complaint would be not enough product comes in it but i still really like it and i'm just gonna put it all over my face like this and then i'm gonna go back in with the beauty blender to blend it out okay now i'm gonna go in with the milk makeup uh, Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. And with that, I'm going to go under my eyes a little and on my nose and make a th like three lines on my forehead. And back in with the Beauty Blender to blend that out. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Baked. I haven't used this in a long time. I've been using the Makeup by Mario bronzer uh, recently. Um, but I think for this softer look today, I'm going to use this. And then I'm just going to dab it in with the Beauty Blender again. I've been going swimming recently. I've been on like a weight loss journey. So I've been swimming a lot. Every day, mostly. Um, and it's been fun. It's very tiring, but because I swim like the 50 meters, I think I'd prefer to swim 25, but you know, 50, 50 is all I got right now. <laughs> um, then I'm gonna go in, if I can find it. No, I cannot. 
So maybe the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronze Color for a contour, I guess. And I just gonna use it on my nose like that. And then again with Beauty Blender to blend it all in. Okay, um, then I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty uh, blush, liquid blush and shading courage. And this is really pigmented, but I still like to use quite a bit of it. So I'm gonna do three dots on each side and one dot on like the middle of my nose. And I'm just gonna blend it in. It's so beautiful. I've tried other blushes, but this is definitely my favorite and I need to get more shades of it because I only have the one shade, Encourage. Um, but I really love it a lot. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty um, Pound Cake Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. And I'm going to use my, oh no, my Eco by Sonia driver brushes. This is a brush set that I got and they're wonderful. I think they're vegan. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use this big powder brush to do my powder. Oh, quite a lot of it's already out, I guess. So I'm just gonna go under the eyes. And then just all over the face. Okay. Now, highlighter. I don't really like this highlighter that much because it's not that pigmented, but it's the only highlighter I've got. Um, but I'm using the Huda Beauty Obsessions Mini Face Palette Light Glow. And I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade and with a fluffy brush, I guess. Uh, first, let me, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set Plus Refresh Spray. I don't have a lot left and so I definitely need to restock on this. This is my second bottle of it, so I really enjoy it, as you can tell. And then I'm just gonna use the fluffy brush I am going with the highlighter. It's not picking up a lot, but you know, it's okay. Actually, it looks okay today. And then down the nose and on the cheeks. It's not looking that bad, actually. It usually looks a lot worse, but it's looking quite good today. I'd say this is the only Huda Beauty product I don't like. I am in love with everything else they do. Okay, and now for the eyes. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Nude Light uh, palette. It's very pretty, as you can see, these colors. And I'm going to use the fluffy brush again and just put this cream brown all over my eyelids. And then this pink color in on my lids. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like pink, but it reflects as gold. It's gorgeous. And then, so I just use my fingers every time for um, shimmery lid shades. And then with this 
um, angled brush and the brown, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. Just a small little wing today. Cause it's a soft girl look. And then across the lid. And now onto the eyebrows. I'm just going to apply it with my fingers. This is the Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm putting it on my fingers, well, my finger, and brushing up. I just um, dyed my eyebrows like 20 minutes ago. That's why they're so dark. If you want to see um, how to dye your eyebrows, I would suggest um, watching my shorts um, on how to dye your eyebrows in less than 15 minutes. And then I'm going to go in with the eyebrow brush um, and with the spoolie on it and brush it up for the soap brow look. Are soap brows even a thing anymore? Are they like in? Because I'm not sure, but sometimes I still wear them. Sometimes. Okay, now on to the lips. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And they're like a set of one, two, eight lip liners and I'm gonna choose like a nude shade maybe um toffee rose and I'm going to outline my lips oh it's so pretty And then the bottom. So I've been watching a lot of movies recently. Um, yesterday I went and watched Saltburn, which was incredible. Like the cinematography and like the writing, the directing, it was all, it was so crazy. I loved it. Um, and yeah, and I watched The Marvels, which I really liked, and I also watched, um, what did I watch? Oh, uh, The New Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Incredible. I loved it all. Um, then I'm gonna go in with this shade from my Dear Dahlia mini lip tint. because it's like a nice neutral shade. Let me pick up some product. And, oh wow, yeah. It's very subtle, it's a subtle pink, but very pretty. And then, Wow, I look so good. <laughs> um, finally, well, two steps left. Um, mascara. Uh, it's the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Mascara, mascara. Um, and I'm only going to apply it to the top lid because every time I apply it to the bottom lid, it looks a bit crazy. And I actually saw this tip where it's like remove all excess product from the brush of the mascara so it looks better. And yeah, actually it does. It doesn't look as clumpy. Oh, that looks really nice. And then the other eye.
And finally, to set it all in, it's back with the Milk Makeup Drip Spray. Okay, so this is the finished product. It's just a soft little glowy makeup look. And I hope you enjoyed this and maybe followed along if you wanted to. Um, have a wonderful day and thank you for having me.